And we have a Grimace Adventure, right? Monday hype, Grimace Adventure hype. Seems good, perfect time actually. Alright, so Grimace Adventure number 174 is here. Shattered Keepers. And I mean, this already looks like we're getting like more versions of the Shattered Realm set or something. So last time we had your... What? Ah, last time you had your first clip. What, what? You had your the first glimpse. What? Zentai, please. You had your first glimpse into the new areas being added to the Shattered Realm. As part of our more policy, you'll be absolutely shocked or shattered to learn that the number... No, rather like... I don't know. Absolutely pork champed, right? Uh, to learn that the number of new levels has since gone up from 15 to 20. Nice. This naturally doesn't mark the end, mark the end of your 1.1.9 journey. Today, we would like to unveil the assortment of unique rewards you can hunt down and whale right? uh, while trans traversing the Shadow Realm. So, yeah, this looks like three new Shadow Realm sets. With 1.1.9, the Shadow Realm loot pool will be enhanced with the addition of 12 new legendary items split across three sets. Yeah, that's, that's basically what's gonna happen, right? Three new, like, SR sets. And yeah, welcome on, Marcus, Bouncing Dandy, Trashcan Man, Rule 87, Ground Zero. Welcome on, welcome on. Are you guys hyped? Let's take a closer look at each of the three. Wait, they're actually gonna spoil them for us? Pog. Ember's Calling. Note that as with anything previewed. Yeah, yeah of course, this, this can like change. But well, that's fine. Okay, so Ember's Calling. Four piece set, right? I guess all of these are gonna be like four piece sets, like um, helmet, chest, uh, what's it else? Like shoulders and um, amulet, I guess. Actually, a medal. Wait, this is a medal, not an amulet. Ember's Calling is a medal, not an amulet. Interesting. So this one supports, uh, what the fuck is Bloodburst again? That's Dreaksy with Eye, right? That's Fire Dreaksy with Eye. Wait, a Shadow Ulzin's Wrath. So it's like a Demo, Oculus, and Nightblade set? What the fuck? Fire Nightblade? Oh, it's another Scepter item, actually. Like another Scepter set. Nice. Wait, what does it support for Scepter? I think it's just like generic support for Scepter, right? Cool to fire to PB. Dude, we're gonna play Fire Sabitur with this one for sure, right? Like, fuck the Drixie Vlog. Here's the code, I mean, Pearson Code to Fire, right? I mean, the Drixie Vlog thing is, like, interesting as well, but, like. What to do with this? Like, Fire Witch Hunter? But it also has Chaos support for Witch Hunter, though, right? Like, Chaos Resistance Reduction, Trade of Shadow is interesting as well. Sabotage is a little bit less sad, yeah, I hope so. Also, X, X sucks and async await, welcome, guys. Yeah, this is for next match. Also, Boojum, welcome, man. Looks like one doesn't buy these, though. Like, they're random drop. Interesting. Or, like, drop from the chest, maybe, at the end, right? They're also not, like, as defensive, right? Like, SR set is, like, super defensive. This one seems, like, way more offensive, right? Like, OA, ODA. No, like, CC resistances on this one whatsoever, right? Actually, none, right? Yeah, this is only like... I mean, generic defenses are nice. DA and OA galore. No HP, though. No HP and, like, no... CC resistances, right? Chaos. Chaos Saboteur? Oh, yeah, you can also, like, use this probably for, like, Chaos Saboteur, right? Together with the... The one mini Shardzu 100, right? <laughs> Wolston stream? Maybe next year, dude. Whenever Wolst I'm gonna stream Wolston whenever the game is good, right? Whenever the game is good, I'm gonna stream it. If that's gonna be never, then never. If it's gonna be, like, tomorrow, then tomorrow. Alright, next set. Gore Drinker. This one looks cool as fuck. What the fuck are these effects, dude? This is interesting. So, a Pierce Bleed set. Alright. Okay, that's, like, really what we need. Like, there's currently... Two bleeding sets in the game, right? We have um, Blood Rager, which is absolutely insane, and we have <clears throat> um, what's it called, Blood Knight, which is like 
kind of a meme for Bleed, right? It's like more of a vitality set. Uh, like even, what's it called? Um, Demon Slayer is like used for Bleed for Blade Spirits, but the set doesn't even have Bleed damage, right? So what is this? Uh, bleed Virus Smite, Bleed Word of Pain, Bleed Cadence. Bleed Cadence? What? That sounds horrible. But like Pierce Cadence, maybe. Okay. So Cadence Tactician. Wait, does it also like give you additional like Pierce RR? I mean, Tactician already has like Pierce Res Reduction on Word of Pain anyway. Like Fire to Pierce, Fire to Pierce, Fire to actually full Fire to Pierce. Okay, or, like almost full Fire to Pierce. Wait, why, why fire to pierce though? For wire smite? Pierce wire smite? I mean, you can't convert the burn though. I mean, you can like go max wire smite and then like skip the fire trade and like go for the bleed on the third node, right? And go like what? Bleed paladin? Bleed paladin sounds weird. I mean, I guess it can work. Also, bleed warlord, right? Actual Bleed Paladin has like more RR than Warlord, though, right? With the Bleed RR and Word of Pain. Duration to Word of Pain, Pierce, and Bleed Damage to Word of Pain. More Bleed Damage to Cadence, plus one Soldier. I mean, it has like plus one to every single class, right? The Mask has this, and the Ward has that. That's Amulet, by the way. This is another Amulet piece. This one was a Metal. This, this is very interesting because it's a Metal, right? You can finally use a meme. Pierce virus might to enter the the gun. I mean the crossbow. I think it's a crossbow, right? Volcanic Stride is the most important damage source of virus might, right? Generally speaking, yes. Yeah, yeah. Because you can stack it, right? You cannot stack the the bleeding damage on virus might. Like if you play this around virus might, it's not gonna like. It's probably not gonna be good, like not good gonna be like good enough as a single skill unless it gets like insane like bonuses on it. I mean, it does get like a lot of bleed. I mean, I don't know why like crate doesn't like show you the raw numbers, right? Like these are like randomly scaled up by like some random crate character that was wearing this, right? Like you can't take the numbers here. It's just like you know, it's it adding it's adding like some bleed damage. But it's not gonna be like 3,900 flat, like that would be like way too high. <laughs> it's not, that's not how it works. I kinda don't like bleed cadence. I don't know, how much bleed damage do we have on cadence in the first place? But like bleed cadence sounds pretty awful. I mean, that, the damage might be good, but like from a play, like a play style perspective, it sounds horrible, right? I mean, this is no bleed. Okay, they have bleed damage on fighting form, actually. Wait, what about the... What about the virus my two-hander? What does it do again? You're Marignor, welcome on. And Saffron Saab as well. And Arcade Undo, how you man? It's a face tanker. A face tank bleeding build. Not neat. Next risk misadventure is January 11th. That's actually pretty soon, yeah. You're right, that's like... Very soon, compared to, I mean, they always do like one at New Year's, I guess, so like closely after New Year. That's why they are doing it kind of soonish, I guess. Okay, so you don't even need flat RR on this point, right? Because you have flat RR on wire smart, but it doesn't have bleed damage, right? I mean, maybe they're gonna give Gildor's bleed damage. That would be nice, right? If this had bleed damage as well, it would be like very nice for this, but. Right now it doesn't have any bleed damage, and then we have this for physical, and I mean, that's it, right? Oh, this one was physical as well, right? This one. This one doesn't have bleed damage either, right? Like, none of these items have bleed damage. Hmm. Maybe they would give, like, good orders bleed damage, right? Wasn't there, like, a bleed damage metal though? Yeah, Mark of Haravu, right? But it converts Pierce to physical. Like, that's not meshing well with the set, right? Which, like, converts... Hmm... Yeah, it converts physical to peers. I oh, mean, that's weird. Why not the face tank bleed build? That's what I do on my bleed water. Ah, oh, it's a water though, right? 
I mean, I guess you can do face tank. Uh, I I like I kind of like don't like bleed for face tank that much. I don't really like any dot with like face tank. Like while you're playing a dot man, right? Like you might as well like play a standard like face tank build, like a flat damage face tank build. Making a water beer attack. <laughs> Got ripper gun. For water. Ah, uh, yeah, for yeah, if you do it with fighting form, right? Then you could play. Yeah, true. If you don't play virus map, but you like you play. Um. Yeah, true. It's actually good to get rid of water, right? Right, you can use this with like shaman secondary. The set, I guess. I, know, I would say I would rather. I mean, I would probably either play a Paladin or a Warder with that. But I guess you can also do Warlord. But I don't necessarily like it that much. I mean, it's Nightblade though. Wait, this is not even supporting. Yeah, it's not supporting Inquisitor at all though. I mean, Inquisitor does support like ranged guns pretty nicely though. Wasn't that bad damage source because of Undead? Yeah, that's what Facebook tells you. But I mean... <laughs> I mean, that's literally what like Reddit and Facebook like tells you when it comes to Bleed, because like they don't take Resistance Shred. I mean, Bleed works the same way as any other damage type. It's it's as good as all the other damage types usually. It's The only thing it kind of struggles with is Sustain, because you can't sustain from Bleed, right? You have to like sustain from either Vitality or Pierce or Physical. Or just like from Health Regen, right? Or like from Devotion Procs. Like, saying Bleed is bad because of Undead is like saying Chaos is bad because of Chthonians so or like Aether is bad because of Aetherius, right? Astronaut. Like, just get resistance reduction. But I mean, I know you're like not to blame. I know there are many people saying Bleed is bad because of Undead, like on Reddit and Facebook and stuff like that. Because they like don't know how this game works, unfortunately. Why can't you sustain from Bleed when it's instant? Bleed is not instant though. Like, Bleed is always only damage over time. Like, there is no flat bleed damage in this game. I mean, bleed damage is bad when you're like leveling and you have like done Act 1 and then you are into Act 2 and you meet uh, like Undead and at that point you don't, you maybe don't have bleed resistance reduction yet then it's bad but on the other hand i mean like shaman literally has it in the first like in the first skill ever right does bleed resistance reduction here and like the other one is what witch hunter i mean uh Octotus, right which has it like in the, literally the first skill as well right if, if you don't take these things right like if you're playing the game and you are into act two and you don't use these skills then of course you can deal zero damage right but i mean Reduce bleed duration by 100% makes it instant. Uh, no, it doesn't work like that. No. And also, you like you need to rush rend devotion as well, like rend devotion. But I mean, you need to you need to like, kind of like do that on any build, right? Like to, on any build, if you're, like playing cold damage, you need to like rush rumor, or, like I don't know, or like elemental storm at least. Um, on like physical, you need to like go for assassins for mark, right, and stuff like that, like. Resistance Shred is just so important in Grim Dawn, you like, have to always go for it. And like, if you're playing Bleed, then you need to like go for Rend, right? And like, get your Resistance Shred from like, Devotions, I mean from Skulls as well. If you don't have that, then I agree, Bleed sucks in Act 2 against Undead. But if you, if you just do that, then it doesn't suck. Wait, look at the set. Reduce bleed duration by 100? Wait, what? Wait, where, where are you reading that? Where are you reading that, um... Thundercloud? <laughs> if you're bad at the game, the bleed sucks. Yeah, pretty much. Ah, uh, 3P set? Oh yeah, reduction bleed duration. Ah, oh, that's for you. Like, that's like a defensive stat. Like, when you get hit by bleed. It basically like makes you immune to bleed, I think, right? Or wait, 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 or is it offensive? 
Wait, am I am I stupid? No, 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 it's it's defensive. Yeah, like it basically makes you immune to bleed. It's the same thing as Dryad's Blessing, like reduction and bleed duration. It's like a defensive buff as well, like you take less bleeding damage. So I think it's uh, I mean, it's the same wording here, right? So this basically makes you immune to bleed. That's what it does, right? Wait, does mark this makes you immune to bleed? Wait, then you don't need bleed rest, right? Wait, is this how it works? Like, can you actually go with like zero bleed rest when you're playing Gold Drinker? Because of 100% reduction in bleed duration? Yo, that's interesting if true. That's like a new type of build Grimdon has never seen before, right? Like, it makes you immune to bleed. That's actually very interesting. But I guess we're moving on to the next set, which seems to be a... It looks like an Aether set. But it's... Yeah, it is Aether, right? It's Aether Lightning, okay. The Veil Keeper. The Whale Keeper? <laughs> uh, why are you doing all these sets great? So many war whale memes incoming. Alright, obviously you play Whale Keeper with a sign of the Screaming Whale, right? I mean, probably actually, right? Shaman, Necro, Upheaval. Ah, there we go. Aether Upheaval. A Aether Ritualist, interesting. Um, Necrotic Gunge. Alright, weapon pool skills. Yeah, like you play Savagery with us, probably. Wait, what's the third supported skill? I mean. Wait, it doesn't have a, a third. Like, oh, it's Arcanus, right? Arcanus is the third supported monster. Right? Why does it not have, like, plus one to Arcanus then? Like what? Wait, did the first one not have plus one to Oculus either? It didn't, right? Wait, why not? They could have like added to the four piece, right? Maybe they have like stronger modifiers for Dweeks Evil to like make up or not. And like stronger modifiers for what Arcane will. Dude, like these sets look so great. Like, I wanna try on this for like Saboteur, like Fire Saboteur, or like Bleed, um. I don't know, Bleed Paladon? With, like zero Bleed Rest? Because of this. And then like, um, Aether Ritualist, right? I kinda wanted to like do another Ritualist on a way, but. Guess we're going for Aether Ritualist then. So yeah, this one just supports like default attackers, so I just say they like, do probably sign of screaming whale actually, right? Yeah, mm, so if you're around the person, uh, isn't that broken immune to bleed? I don't know, like bleed isn't like a yeah, like bleed is not like a scary damage type on this game. So why is there a gazer man in my... The gazer man hasn't in invaded on it. <laughs> gazer man on screen. Finally, after hundreds of augments, components, adjustments, I face like Ravager Flash. Nice, Zulu. Congrats, man. That's a pork champion, dude. Pork champ. Congrats, man. You probably take all the beat damage in an instant. Wait, you think so? Wait, isn't bleed duration reduction just like... No, no, I think it's actually... I think it's actually immunity. Or maybe this is like additive, right? Like maybe if the enemy has like bonus duration or something. Like say the enemy has like 200% duration, then you only like reduce that by 100% and it's like down to 100%. I don't know. It's kind of hard to... S to tell to us, like this could be multiplicative, this could be additive. It could be like arcane undo things in chat, right? Um, that like you take all the damage instantly instead, which that would actually suck, right? That would be very bad. 
Yo, Thomas, welcome on. New patch one, yeah, I don't know. Either this year or next year, right? Maybe next year. So what why would you go Arcanist with this, right? Like why would you go Arcanist? Arcane will, away to Arcane will, Health Regen to Arcane will. Health Regen? Attack speed to Arcane will. Health Regen attack speed to Spectral Bonding. Like Health Regen, that's that like makes me think you wanna go Shaman, right? So like Druid, but like why would you play either Druid when you can play Edge Ritualist, right? And then what do we have here? Like this is for only for Ritualist, right? The mask is like literally useless for Arcanists. Um This one has more health regen. I guess Druid has like more health regen than Ritualist, like Arcanist is gonna be the like defensive version, like an actual the damage version for this set, I guess. I mean you can also obviously like do spellbinder, but like the health regen on spellbinder is kinda I don't know. <laughs> it's kinda useless, right? I also love how they made it a metal so that you can use the condit to like convert surgery to aether, right? Set bonuses don't look that great. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. Resist yeah, you're actually right. Like I think the Wakekeeper so far looks like the worst set. Out of the three. Also, they need to fucking fix upheaval, right? Like, upheaval procs less and less the more other weapon pools because you have, right? And the set supports upheaval, but also necrotic edge, right? So, like, you need to at least use a necrotic edge as well, right? Maybe you can, like, skip Reaping Strike, but, like, Reaping Strike is so much, um, last here, right? If you play, uh, let's uh, do it like this, actually. Right, if you play, um, a ritualist with those ones, for example, right? Where's uh, Necro? There it is. They rotate the cam and pull one with one. Yeah, I mean, that's like the meta for SR. However, that will be fixed next patch anyway. That will be fixed next 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 patch. What? Next patch? <laughs> I can't talk. So you play... Also, yeah, I mean, why would you not take Feral Hunger, right? Like, Feral Hunger is also so much life leech, right? Like, imagine not taking Feral Hunger when you're playing Savagery, right? And Reaping Strike also has, like, Aether damage, and then you, like, use the... Like, Vitality to Aether... Belt, which actually has plus one... To Arcanist, right? So, like, you get some more value on Arcanist while the belt if you are playing Arcanist. Uh, Cyan. Where is it? Screaming, screaming Whale, right? This one. And then you go with the Conduit right? of Wild Whispers. There it is. And you go with the. Uh, where is it? I mean, you don't go for Promise Strike because, like, Promise Strike cannot, like, proc weapon pool skills, and, like, the set is all about weapon pool skills. And you go for Aether damage down here, I guess, like, Mark of the Dreadblade, right? That's, like, probably the best one because of, like, total speed. It also does build, like, I mean, this meta gives you, like, Reaping Strike bonuses, right? Like, I don't know. Upheaval feels so sad, man. Like, they need to, like, fix Upheaval, I think. Or, like, change it maybe a little bit. I don't know. Maybe they will have something interesting for next patch where people run to we'll see, we'll see. Kinda disappointed when you fought out with conjurer bell forums that couldn't kill for boss at once in the R7 G plus. Yeah, because they pull it one by one. <laughs> Might bring your own health versus physical. But like physical is the like scariest damage type. I would say like an end game. 50% of the damage you're taking, or like you would die to, is like physical, right? So it had like only physical. That's still physical, like physical helps a lot. Yeah, it's like 80% of the damage you take, <laughs> or at least 50%. I don't know, it's probably more than 50. 
Dash Warp Arcane plus 3 seconds Arcane Will. Yeah, I guess you can do something like interesting around Arcane Will as well. And then you like play Spellbinder maybe? I don't know. How oh, the conversion on this one is cold to Aether. I mean, it's cold to Aether because of Soul Harvest, right? That's why. But you still need like Vet to Aether, right? You need Vet to, vet to Aether, so you need the spell. Like the spell is, uh, yeah, yeah, like this one and the spell together is like 100% Vet to Aether. And then you have like Major Lord Rings and... I mean, Major Lord Rings and the conversion on the set is unfortunately only multiplicative, but... I just run the Mage Lord here, that's the master, right? Maybe you don't even use Mage Lord though, like maybe they're not that worth it in this case, because like you're not getting... Like you only basically get like 25% conversion for like, from like Soul Harvest, right? That's like all you get from this. Maybe you like go for resistance reduction instead, not sure. Oh, you can't use the metal, by the way. No, no, you can't use the metal. I forgot. The set has the metal on it. Agrix, no. Where is it? Eternity? No. The Reborg's Reaping? I guess. I'll just use Serenity on it. What about Impurity, by the way? Is this good? I never tried this. It has flat Aether damage, though. It might be good on it. But like Ouroboros has like attack speed as well and like last tier and lit damage which get converted, so... But yeah, this metal uh, wouldn't work, I was saying. Also Gazer Man? Wait, what about Gazer Man? Yeah, I have a Gazer Man on my screen. He has invaded. Yeah, Red and Workman, Workman. Yeah, Misadventure is dope, dude. Like, the sets look pretty interesting. Like, look at this three-piece, right? 100% reduction in bleed duration, like we're wondering what this exact means. I think it's it might mean that you're actually immune to bleed damage, right? But maybe it's additive and then it doesn't work like that, right? If this was like multiplicative, then you're like immune to bleed, right? The armor of the keepers of Rail of Ral Ralyoth will open a new up new build opportunities, but their re regal appearances made us rethink the versatile shadow guardian armor. Alright, so the standard shadow guardian armor is like the purple set. I mean, looks purplish now, right? And um, this one's like green. Uh, pierce, piercy. White, bluish, blue, white, bluish. And fiery set, okay. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. I like how they like put in the effort to like put on appropriate, like, gloves and pants and boots as well, right? To, like, match the scent. Seems good, seems good. For those that enjoyed the original appearance, fear not, it will be as available for purchase from the vendor of the spoilers of the Shattered Realm in a ceremonial format. Okay, so this is, like, another thing here, right? Like, knowing, uh, yeah, okay. Look at this guy, not even reading it, I'm just commenting. You can definitely make tank your conjurers with Mudbringer. Yeah. They are Pixie Bob. What a silly fanboy, right? I know, right? But yeah, this looks uh, hype. Hype, hype. Yeah, Bone Ward Shield can be pretty tanky as well if you like roll Fizzlers on top, right? But like Scale of Gulamash, like Medley version, that's like. Squishy. Right. I wanna try Arcane Will meme. I should go like all in Arcane Will, right? It might not be too bad, like with the gun that you guys were talking about, right? The Arcane Will gun. Try to have like a high uptime on that. I mean this is another four seconds, right? Screen right. So you have like seven seconds duration. 
But you go like Spellbinder, I guess, right? Maybe like Shadow Baron of Default Attacker or something, right? Is Reckless Power even better than this? I mean, this one is Love Seed, right? And if you, if you use like this spell, then you have like conversion anyway. Hmm. And it still has recharge, right? Like it still has a downtime. Like it always has downtime because like it starts. Like downtime starts when this is like going on cooldown, right? It doesn't start like when it's starting. Yo, 6 door Sedan, welcome man. Squishy does SR95. I mean, yeah, it's still good. <laughs> and yeah, next patch, like, people can't pull one by one anymore. I mean, I mean, they still can, but... There's always, like, gonna be two, like, two bosses they have to fight together. It's, it's like, 1-2-1 one, one, instead of, like, 1-1-1. One, one, one. Would be affected by CDR. It should be, I guess? I don't know. Like, this one doesn't have CDR, and like, how do you get CDR on the helmet? I mean, does the helmet have CDR? It doesn't, right? It has attack speed. So you basically have zero CDR, right? Like, you can't get it on the weapon, because this one is kind of like needed, and you can't get it on the helmet, so there's like zero CDR. Like, you can't get CDR on like other pieces, usually. Unless you have like Ofgadam Arcanum, but like Ofgadam Arcanum only works for active abilities, right? It doesn't work for Arcane Will. But like, what are the mods again? So it's like attack speed. Like, this health regen is so weird. Like, like how do you use this on Arcanist? Like, how, why would you go Arcanist with health regen, right? It's so weird. Yeah, like the Arcanus stuff is gonna be probably more on the meme side for me. Yeah, this is interesting though. Like either with Gut Ripper, as you guys said, right, for Cadence, or with like a virus might put it in, maybe like Bleed put it in. I don't know. I feel like the Cadence part. Could be the highest damage though, right? Because like you can't stack wire smart anyway. Like how do you get CDR to start to wire smart when like the emulator is broken like the emulator is blocking it, right? You just don't get CDR, right? Blood of sands granted skill. What if you like only use the emulator for soldier? Oh no, you need like 3 piece for like bleeding unity, right? that's like too good. Ah, uh, and like 4 piece still gives you a okay, cadence, right? Cadence Tactician, maybe. Bleed Cadence Tactician. Nah, like water is just better, right? Like you play a Gut Ripper, then you just play Shaman Secondary, right? Like Gut Ripper is too good. Unless they like change these weapons, right? None of them have Fizzerness. Yeah, yeah, they're kind of squish. Like, they, you're like kind of used to SR set being a tank set, right? But these are actually, they look like SR set, but they're like super squish, right? They have like a ton of OA and DA or like resistances, like non physical resistances, but they also have like no HP, right? Like, no HP, no Fizzerness. No HP. I mean, this one has HP though, actually, never mind. But also no Fizzerness, right? And this one has um uh, Health Regen. <laughs> I don't know, Aether Health Regen is so weird. I and mean, it could work with a uh, Ritualist maybe. Yo, well enough, welcome, welcome. On. Welcome back, thank you so much for your prime man. Yeah, no CC resistances either, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is new stuff coming in the next patch. These will be added to the Shadow Realm. Um, loot pool, however, you 
can buy these, I don't know. Maybe you can either buy them from the vendor or like they drop from the chests, I guess. But yeah, next patch. I mean, you've probably already tested the, uh, I mean, tested the sets right well enough. You could spoiler us some stuff if you want to, but I mean, you don't have to. It's gonna be interesting for sure. I can say they would hate sets, zero tankness. Yeah, they they look kind of squish. Not gonna lie. Send link. And as creators, I mean, these can still change, right? Like, people are gonna just, like, open up a new rant thread and then be like, they're too squishy, and then, okay, okay. Let's see what people wrote here. Salty. Yo, AFX cube. Dude, oh, wait, it's not AFX cube, it's actually wide enough. Throwing around three sub gifts. Thank you so much, man. Very much appreciate your support, man. AFX cube, Gabor, and Mrs. GYZ. Congratulations on receiving a. Get the sub by well enough. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy these emotes. Oh, then welcome, welcome. They look cool for illusion purposes. <laughs> yeah, what does Sufferer say? What does accept? Wait, the shoulders actually have a Fizzurus? Oh, true, the shoulders, the Aether shoulders have Fizzurus. Have Fizzurus. But yeah, they're squishy as fuck. For sure. They are like heavy armor though, right? At least they're heavy armor. 